I recently heard Erica Badu, she was talking about past projects. I think they asked her in the interview, like, what was her favorite project that she's ever worked on? And she didn't have a favorite. She's like, I don't have one. Um, it's just their thoughts. And once I put it out there into the universe, I'm done with it. I'm moved on to the next. So yeah. and, and it kind of worked the same way with the book, not to devalue it at all. Yeah. But I'm just like, wow, like they're still, like they're still <laughs> feeding from it. Like I have so much of course. more to say. And people who have not <laughs> even discovered it yet and so much more. It's exactly. almost like artists, right? Like Maxwell talks about the same thing, how people keep wanting him to be the Maxwell that they knew and fell in love with. And he's yeah. like, I'm an artist. I'm a creator. Yeah, I have so much more to say or I've changed my mind in some instances. Mm-hmm. And all of that, I mean, I didn't even mean for this to keep coming back to parenting in this way, but I cannot help it because it's the parallel, right? This very mm-hmm. same idea that even if, if I knew at 28 what parenting was supposed to look like, now at 39, I have a totally different idea. And I'm allowed to be in whatever space makes sense for me now. And, and there are things that I can do to keep myself in alignment with whatever I'm becoming again, which is what I love about the book, because it really is about, I feel like we haven't said much about the protein of the book, which is really about ritualizing that makes sense for you. Like you gave the example of the yoni egg and then, you know, you and I were talking and I I tend to find that I'm in the opposite direction of most people about yoni eggs because I don't connect with that idea of the placement of it and all of that, but I've collected rocks. I've been collecting rocks like my whole life and, you know, and I use them for things. Even this morning, I had like four meetings today. So I took out three smooth rocks and one of them is a black, like obsidian black rock. And I took those three out because those mean something for me. They're smooth, which is me telling myself that I have permission to have a smooth flowing day, even with all the meetings. It was three. That number is important to me. I put the darkest one closest to me. That means something for me, too, that I can still stay in the little cave that makes me comfortable even when I'm out there. You know, like mm, those, yeah. that's how that work works for me. And in this book and in your, a lot of your work, too, it's that. It's who are you? How are you feeling in this moment? And what can you do towards those feelings? So don't make it about anybody else. Don't make it about what your man or woman is or isn't doing or what your child should or shouldn't be doing. It's you. You are the thing that you can manage. You are the source of power or the issue. So what can you do from that base? Which is why it's such a powerful book. Tell us a little bit about